Well, hello if you're new, my name's Georgia, I do uploads for hauls, beauty, makeup, bit of fun, I do quite a few challenges with my boyfriend, I upload on a Wednesday at 5pm, a Saturday at 10am and a Sunday at 9am, so I upload three times a week, so if you subscribe, hit that bell button, you'll get updated when I upload, and hello, welcome back to those that are already subscribed, thank you so, so much. Today is a bargain, no it's not, it's a home bargains haul. I keep trying to call it B&M Hall. I haven't actually been to, Bar um, oh, flippity flip. I haven't been to a home bargains properly. I think I've went, went in there once, ages ago. I'd say a good three years ago. And yeah, I haven't really been back since. My sister-in-law, hello Nikki, I know you're watching. She loves it, she she goes all the time, she gets some really good bargains there. So I thought there was a few things that I already needed, so I thought I'd go in and grab them. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. I have a real mixture of things that I've bought today. I've got some cleaning things, I've got some like household things, I've got some beauty things, and I've got quite a bit of food. So I'm just gonna go through it randomly, but I have put it in piles as well. But I don't know why I'm telling you that because you can't even see it. First thing I'm gonna show you first is what I'm really excited about is these paint brushes now i made my nephew well ages ago september i made my niece a cake so only fair that i made my nephew a cake and it, his, it was his birthday last week and i'm also making a cake for my sister-in-law again hello nikki it's her baby shower on sunday so it's their first little baby so i'm making them a cake and i've been watching loads of tutorials obviously on youtube and i've decided i've bought quite a few like what i call professional like baking things. Um, actually, Nikki bought me a load of baking stuff. Nikki, this is all about you. Baking stuff for my birthday back in October. But anyway, I bought some paintbrushes just to make the decorating a little bit easier. And they were really cheap. They were £1.99. And I already know that in like hobby crafts, about £4. So hopefully they're good. They're synthetic. Obviously, our food brushes hope you'll be nice and safe. Next is a food item. And I was quite excited when I saw this. I'll show you both of these at the same time. I've got pot noodle. I've got this in my last B&M haul. Just love these, they're just easy for work. But then next to this, they have these, which is like a Chinese takeaway. And inside you get some noodles, it looks like a sachet of some sort, like a couple of sachets, that's it. Shall we open it, have a look? I'm actually really excited about this. I really like noodles, I think they're really tasty. I'm hoping that oh, that's gonna come off as well. I'll have to put that in. It's just microwavable. You can see you get a sachet of something, another sachet of something, another sachet. So that looks really tasty. So I'm super excited to try that. And I think that was like a pound. Bargain. Uh, next, I I'm actually sat next to one now. I use these in the wall um, to keep everything smelling nice, but they're actually empty. Well, not empty, because obviously that would be very dangerous, but they're nearly out. Um, so I've got a new one, and I've decided to go for a different shape. One, because it was cheap, and two, it did smell quite nice. Well, I couldn't smell it in this, so I got the air freshener squared that. It's quite nice. I quite like masculine, kind of almost cologne smelling stuff so i've got some of that i also got because i was watching mrs hinch and she thinks this is amazing so i've got this astonish mold and mildew buster again a pound and the normal stuff that i buy is like two quid i needed some more white and i've not actually used these wipes before these are the sif wipes i've got them in bathroom and i've got them in multi-purpose i've used the multi-purpose spray of this before and i really really enjoyed it so yeah really excited to try these excited to try wipes obviously getting old i love a good white brush they're really easy hence why i got the bathroom ones so i thought they could stay in the bathroom and they'd be really easy to just kind of grab because my bathroom seems to be like need cleaning like every other day because it gets so dusty and yeah multi-purpose for everything else got some fairy up fairy up liquid i don't know how you say it. i know it's washing up liquid but i call it fairy up liquid rose and satin i like that flavor i got some cotton buds because we all need cotton buds and i've run out some raisins, these were a pack of eight, these only come in a pack of four and it's a £1.50, these were £2.50, you get eight, which I know is quite expensive but these are the best raisins, so when you see them on a bit of a deal you've got to grab them. I've tried those raisins, these are my ones that I like. Sticking with the kind of beauty soapy stuff, I've got a massive bottle of Sanix Dermo Moisturising. I'm really sensitive, especially down there. So Sanix is the only one that really kind of works with me and I don't get oily down there and it's just a nice smelling one actually so this again smells like cologne which is nice sticking with some boring stuff like i said i'm making a cake so i need some foil to cover some of the decorations up i'm not sure if you want to see this or not but i bought this which is kitchen roll again i use kitchen roll 
loads and these were on offer they're the buffalo i don't know if they're any good but they're a pound for these two big jumbo ones thought that was good value for money and this is what my life's come to guys i'm doing a youtube channel trying to make it in the big world and i'm showing you my toilet roll Andrek Papa 12 for 3 99 which I thought was a bloody bargain. No more said. Now this little purchase I'm actually really excited about. So if you don't know, I moved into my own place probably now about a year ago. And obviously when you move out, you don't have many things. You kind of, so I needed to start from scratch. And there's so much that you need and you don't even think you need it. Anyway, the last year I've really needed a feather duster, but I cannot find one that is like cheap enough. They're all like 20, 15 quid and I thought I'm not paying 15 quid for a bloody duster 89p it will probably be rubbish and it will probably fall out and leave rainbow pubes everywhere but look I got a feather duster I'm so excited when we were little me my brother and my sister on a Friday it was cleaning Friday so one of us had to cobweb one of us had to dust and one of us had to hoover and whoever got the cobwebbing they could just just go around dancing oh so excited about that I was buzzing I wanted a nice gray or white one but you know rainbow is is here and Actually, me and Joe have got this thing where we have to name everything. So our washing machine is called Wilma. We've got a doorstop called Gertie. We've got um, a set of scales called Simon. What could this be? Leave down below what we could name the feather duster. Give me some names. Anyway, we've digressed. Oh, another thing that I was really excited about buying is I was actually looking in all of the Valentine stuff because obviously it's Valentine's on Friday. Thought I'd be all like romantic. Didn't find anything. But then on the opposite side, they had all the Mother's Day stuff. And they had these little fake flowers. And they, um, I just thought they were really nice. Imagine that on your like bouquet on your wedding day. So if you're on a budget wedding, I think that I'd be quite happy with that. Don't judge me. But anyway, so I thought, oh, quite like some fake flowers. And then, so these were like pound fifty or something. But they're like, they look kind of silky. I don't know if you can see it, but whoop. And then for 99p, this vase which i absolutely fad in love with it's a little bit like vintage looking and it's got like roses and um like cherry blossom all around the i was gonna say the rim but that sounds gross and it's not even the rim but around the vase and i thought to go in the bedroom i think that looks really nice well i was gonna say call me delia smith but she's a chef and then Call me Lore Lo Lawrence Lowedin Bowen. Call me that. And then the next stuff is just food. Oh, I don't know. I bought some deodorant. I love the Sanex deodorant. I actually normally get the purple one, but I thought they didn't have that, so I thought blue would do because the pink was a bit in there. Right, now it's just food, so I'm going to whiz through these food items very quickly. Again, I think my last B&M haul, I bought some of these, but I bought some more Cheetos, Flaming Hot, my favourite. Got them in cheesy as well, my favourite. Then these, me and Joe are absolutely in love with these. My sister actually got us into these. Now I'm sure they were about when we were little, but they had like M&Ms on top of them. These are called Twix Tops. And I don't know if you can see, but they're flat and they are, oh my God, they're so nice. If you haven't tried them, get yourself to Home Bargains and get yourself some of these. They are quite expensive, but they are so worth it. Last but not least, I've got some Maltese buttons for myself for work tomorrow because I thought I'm gonna just treat myself. So quite a big haul, but quite a lot of random stuff as well. Yeah, I enjoyed going around there. Must admit, I do prefer b &M just because you've got a load more to look at. However, Home Bargains is a good place to go if you've got a lot on your list and you kind of want to get a lot of things all at once because they do do. Do you know what they remind me of? They remind me of a bit more of an upmarket Poundland. Now, I love Poundland. I'm not slating Poundland. I'm just saying it's like a bigger Poundland. It's got more variety than Poundland because obviously Poundland's got a bit of everything, but it's like one shelf each for each of stuff, whereas it kind of had an aisle, but it wasn't the same kind of calibre. But I really enjoyed myself. I was went off to work and I was walking around and I had loads of fun so I hope you enjoyed looking at what I bought you probably didn't you probably thought this girl's completely lost it but if you did enjoy it hit that subscribe button like I said I upload on a Friday at 5 p.m I upload on a Saturday at 
10 o'clock in the morning and I upload on a Sunday at 9 o'clock in the morning as well. So if you hit the bell button, you'll get updated when I upload and I'd really appreciate your support. And I don't like saying that because it feels like I'm begging for subscribers, but if you do like what I do, then obviously subscribe, let me know that you do. Let me know down below what we should call our little duster. I'm really excited for that. And also, if you've got to the end of the video, put a yellow heart in the comments so I know that you have. And yeah, I shall see you all very soon. I'll put my Facebook and my Instagram here. Go over there, check them out. I always put polls on my Instagram, so it is, is a good idea to go over and follow. We will, you know, keep an eye on that because I always put out what you'd like to see. Any ideas for my next video? Pop them below, let me know, and I shall see you soon.